welcome to nvsr channel today we are going to see about the indian polity preamble we need for preamble of the constitution the american constitution was the first to be the begin with the preamble many countries including india followed this practice the terms preamble refer to the introduction or preface to the constitution it contains a summary or essence of the constitution n a balki wala an eminent jurist and constitutional expert called the preamble as the identity code of the constitution the preamble to the indian constitution is based on the objective resolution drafted and moved by pandit jawaharlal nehru and adopted by the constitution assembly it has been amended by the 42nd constitution assembly act 1946 which added three new words socialist secular and integrity constitution preamble moved by jawaharlal nehru on december 30 1946 and adopted by the constitution assembly on january 22 1947 now let me see the text of the preamble the preamble in the present form reads we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secure democratic republic and secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among all among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26 day of november 1949 do here we adopt an act and give to us this constitution this is the text present in the preamble now now we see the ingredients of the preamble the preamble reveal four ingredients or components number 1 source of authority of the constitution the preamble states that constitution derive its authority from the people of india two nature of indian state it declares india to be a sovereign socialist secure democratic and republican polity number 3 objective of the constitution it specify justice liberty equality and fraternity as the objective of the indian constitution number 4 date of adoption of the constitution it stipulates november 26 1949 as the date now let us see the keywords present in the preamble certain keywords present in the indian preamble now let us see that sovereign socialist secular democratic republic justice liberty equality and fraternity now let me see that expand as follows sovereign the keyword sovereign implies that india is neither a dependency nor a dominion of the other nation but an independent state there is no authority above it and it is free to conduct its own affairs both internal and external So in 1949 India declared the continuation of her full membership of the Commonwealth of Nation and asserted the British Crown as the head of the Commonwealth this extra constitutional declaration does not affect India's sovereignty in any manner further India's membership of the United Nations organization UNO also in no way constitute limitation on her sovereignty being a sovereign state India can either acquire a foreign territory or cede a part of its territory in favor of the foreign state. India became a member of the United Nations Organization in 1945. Again, socialist. Even before the term was ordered by the 47th Amendment Act in 1976, the Constitution had a socialist content in the form of certain directive principle of state policy. In other words, what was the a true impact in the constitution 
has now been made explicit. Moreover, the Congress Party itself adopted the resolution to establish socialist pattern of society. In its hourly session as early as in 1955 and took measure accordingly. Notably, the Indian brand of socialism is a democratic socialism and not a communis- communistic socialism, also known as a state socialism, which involves the nationalism of all means of production and distribution and the abolition of private property. Democratic socialism, on the other hand, holds faith in mixed economy where both and public and private sector coexist, coexist side by side. As the Supreme Court says, democratic socialism aimed to end poverty, ignorance, disease and inequality of opportunity. Indian socialism is a blend of Marxism and Gandhism, learning heavily towards Gandhi socialism. The new economic policy in 1991 of liberalization, privatization and globalization has however diluted the socialist credential of the Indian state. Number 3. Secular. The term secular too was added by the 42nd Constitutional Amendment Act of 1976. However, as the Supreme Court said in 1974, although the word secular state were not expressed mentioned in the Constitution, there can be no doubt that the Constitution makers want to establish such a state and accordingly, Article 25 to 28, guaranteeing the fundamental right to freedom of religion, have been included in the Constitution. The Indian Constitution embodies the positive concept of secularism, that is, all religion in our country, irrespective of the strength, have the same status and support from the state. Number 4. Democratic A democratic polity, as stipulated in the preamble, is based on the doctrine of popular sovereignty, that is, possession of supreme power by the people. Democracy is uh, two types, direct and indirect. In direct democracy, the people exercise their supreme power directly, as in case of Switzerland. There are four divisions of direct democracy, namely referendum, initiative, recall, and plebe state. In indirect democracy, on the other hand, the representatives elected by the people exercise the supreme power and thus carry on the government and make the laws. This type of democracy also known as a representative democracy. It is a two kind of parliamentary and presidential. The Indian constitution provides a representative parliamentary democracy under which the executive is responsible to the legislature to all its policy and action. Universal adult franchise, periodic election, rule of law, independence of judiciary and absence of discrimination on certain grounds are and manifesto of the democratic character of the Indian polity. The term democratic is used in preamble in the broader sense embracing not only political democracy but also social and economic democracy. This dimension was stressed by Dr. Ambedkar in his concluding speech in the Constituent Assembly on November 25, 1949 in the following way. Political democracy cannot be lost unless there lies at the base of the base of social democracy. What does social democracy mean? It means a way of life which recognizes liberty, equality and fraternity. The principle of liberty, equality and fraternity are not to be treated as separate items in a trinity. They from a union of trinity in the sense that to divorce one from other is to defeat the very purpose of democracy. Liberty cannot be divorced from equality. Equality cannot be cannot be divorced from liberty, nor can liberty and equality be divorced from fraternity. Without equal without equality liberty would produce like a supremacy of the few over many. Equality without liberty would kill individual initiative. In the same context the Supreme Court observed in nineteen ninety seven that the constitution envisioned to establish an egalitation social order entering to every citizen social, economic and political justice in a social and economic democracy of the Bharat Republic. Number 5. Republic The democratic polity can be classified into two categories, monarchy and republic. In a monarchy, the head of the state, usually king or queen, enjoy the the topmost position. 
that is he comes into office through succession example britain in a republic on the other hand the head of the state is always elected directly or indirectly for the fixed period example you say therefore the term republic in our preamble indicates that india has elected a called president he is elected indirectly for the fixed period of 5 years a republic also means to two more things one vesting of political sovereignty in the people and not in a single individual like a king second the absence of any privilege classes and ends all the public offices being open to every citizen without any discrimination number 6 justice the term justice in the preamble embraces the three distinct forms social economic and political secured through the various provision of fundamental rights and directive principles social justice denotes the equal treatment of all the citizens without any social distinction based on the caste color race religion sex and so on it means absence of privilege being extended to a, any particular section of the society and improvement in the condition of backward classes sc st and obc and women economic justice denotes the non discrimination between the people on the basis of economic factors it involves the elimination of glaring inequalities in wealth income and property a combination of social justice and economic justice denotes what is known as dis- distributive justice political justice implies that all citizens should have equal political rights equal access to the political offices and equal voice of the government the idea of justice social economic and political has been taken from the Ru- russian revolution 1917 number 7 liberty the term liberty means absence of restraints of the activities of individuals at the same time providing opportunities for the de- development of individual personalities the preamble secure to all the citizens of india liberty of thoughts expression expression belief faith and worship through the fundamental rights enforceable in courts of law in case of violation liberty as elaborated in the preamble is very essential for the successful functioning of the indian democratic system however liberty does not mean license to do what on like likes and it has to be enjoyed within a limitation mentioned in the constitution itself in brief the liberty coincides by the preamble and the our fundamental right is not absolute but qualified the ideal of liberty equality and fraternity in our preamble has been taken from the french revolution 1979 to 1999 number 8 equality the term equality means absence of special privilege to any section of the society and the provision of adequate opportunity to all the individual without any discrimination the preamble secure to all the citizens of india equal of status and opportunity this provision embraces three dimensions of equality civic political and economic the following provisions of the chapter of the fundamental rights ensure civic equality equality before law, article 14 prohibition of discrimination on grounds of belief of religion race caste sex or place of birth article 15 equality of opportunity in matters of public employment article 16 abolition of untouchability article 17 abolition of titles article 18 there are two provisions in the constitution that seek to achieve political equality one no person is to be declared ineligible for the inclusion of the electoral roll on ground of religion Race, caste, or sex. Article 325. Two, the election to be Lok Sabha and the state assembly to be in the basis of adult service. Article 326. The directive principles of the state policy. Article 39. Secures to men and women equal rights to an adequate means of livelihood, equal paper, equal work. Number nine. Fraternity. Fraternity means a sense of brotherhood. the constitution promotes this feeling of fraternity by the system of single citizenship also the fundamental duties article 51a says that it shall be the duty of the every citizen of india to promote harmony and the spirit of common brotherhood amongst them all the people of india transcending religious linguistic regional or sectional diversity the preamble declares that fraternity has to be assured two things the dignity of the individual and the unity and the integrity of the whole nation the word integrity has been added in the preamble by the 42 42nd amendment 
constitutional amendment act 1976 according to k m munshi a member of the drafting committee of the Constitu constitutional assembly the phrase dignity of the individual signifies that the constitution not only ensures the material betterment and maintain the democratic setup but that is also recognized that the personality of every individual is scared this is highlighted through the sum of the provision of the fundamental rights and directive principles of the state policy which ensure the dignity of the individual further the fundamental duties article 51a also protect, protect the dignity of the woman by stating that it shall shall be duty of the every citizen of india to renounce practice derogatory to the dignity of the woman and also make it duty of every citizen of india to uphold and protect the sovereignty unity and integrity of india the phrase unity and integrity of the nation embrace both the psychological and territorial dimension of the nation integration article one of the constitution describes that india's union of states to make it clear that states have no right to secured from the union secured from the union implying that indestructible nature of the nation of the indian union it aims to overcome indifference of national integration like a communism regionalism caste casteism linguism succession and so on now let us see the significance of the preamble the preamble embodies that the basic philosophy and fundamental value political, moral, and religious, on which the constitution is based. It contains the grand and noble vision of the constitutional assembly the, and reflects the dreams and aspirants of the founding father of the constitution. In other words, Sir Aladdin Krish, Krishna Swami, a member of the constitutional assembly who played a significant role in the making of the constitution. The preamble to our constitution express what we had thought or dreamed so long. According to the K. Munshi, a member of drafting committee of the constant assembly the preamble is the horosco power sovereign democratic republic pandit tagore das barko another member of the constant assembly summed up the importance of the preamble in the following words the preamble is the most prestigious part of the constitution it is the soul of the constitution it is the key to constitution it is a jeweler set in the constitution. It is a proper yard disk with which one, one can measure the worth of constitution. Sir a, Ernst Barker, a distinguished English political scientist, paid glowing tribute to the political wisdom of the author of the preamble. He described the preamble as a keynote of the constitution. He also so moved the next moved the next text of the preamble that he quoted. It is the opening of this popular book, Principle of Social and Political Theory, 1951. M. Aidilwa, a former Chief Justice of India, observed preamble to some the Declaration and Independence of the United States of America, but is more than declaration. It is sole of our constitution, which lays down the pattern of our political society. It contains sole resolve which nothing but a re revolution can alter preamble as a part of the constitution one of the controversy about the preamble it is whether it is a part of the constitution or not in the Be birbori union case 1960 the supreme court said the preamble assures the general purpose began the several provision the constitution and it is a key to the mind of mind of the makers of this constitution further where the term used in the any article or Ambiguous are capable of more than one meaning. Some assistance that interpretation may, may be taken from the objective enshrined in the preamble. This way, the recognition of the significance of the preamble, the Supreme Court especially opened the preamble is not a part of the Constitution. In the case of the Bharati case, 1973, the Supreme Court rejected the early opinion and the preamble is a part of the Constitution. It observed that the preamble is of extreme importance and the Constitution should be read and interpreted in the light of the grand and noble vision expressed in the preamble in the lac of india case 1995 also the supreme court again held that the preamble is an integral part of the constitution like any other part of the constitution the preamble was also enacted by the constitution assembly but after the rest of the constitution was already enacted the reason for the insert inserting a preamble at the end of end was to be ensured that it was a conformity with the constitution or accepted by the Constitution Assembly, which forwarding the preamble for votes, the president of Constitution Assembly said 
the question is the preamble stands part of the constitution the motion was in adopted since the current opinion held by the supreme court that the preamble is a part of the constitution is in a is in consonance with the opinion of the foundation father of the constitution however two things should be noted noted the preamble is neither source of power to legislate or a provision of on the powers of legislation it is non justice justiciable that is it provision is not enforceable in courts courts of law amendability of the preamble the question as to whether the preamble can be amended under the article 368 of the constitution arose for the first time in the historic case of case on the body 1973 it was urged and the preamble can cannot be amended as it not a part of the, as it not a part of the constitution the petitioner contend that the amending power of this in article 368 cannot be used to destroy or damage the basic elements of the fundamental features of the constitution which are enshrined in the preamble the supreme court however held that the president preamble is a part of the constitution the court said that opinion tendered by his berber union 1960 in the regard was wrong held that the preamble can be amended subject of the condition that no amendment is done to the basic feature in the other words the court held that the basic elements or fundamental features of the constitution as contained in the preamble cannot be altered by amendment under article 368 the court observed that edifica power constitution is based upon the basic elements mentioned in the preamble if any of these elements are removed our structure will not be survive and will not be same constitution or can it cannot be maintained in its identity as an amending power cannot be interpreted as so as to confer power on the parliament to take away any of the these fundamental and basic characteristics of the polity the preamble has been amended only once so far in 1976 by 47 constitution assam amendment act which was added three new keywords three new keywords socialist secular and integrity to the preamble this amendment was held to be valid thank you for listening if you want more please like and subscribe and yes sir thank you Thank you very much.